Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is code for us round 972 due to and we're gonna solve the first problem that is simple palindrome. So let's get straight away to the problem. So Narek is a person and he has to spend two hours with some two year old kids at the kindergarten. He wants to teach them competitive programming and their first lesson is about palindromes. I was just thinking what I was doing as a two year old but okay. Two year old kids want to learn competitive programming. It's a good thing. I'm not sure like how they're gonna pick up but Keeping that aside, even if it's 2-year-old, 5-year-old, or 10-year-old, or anyone, subscribe to my channel, I'll make sure uh, they learn. So Narek found out that the kids only know vowels, that is A-E-I-O-U, and Narek needs to make a string that consists of vowels only. So also making the string, he'll ask the kids to count the number of subsequences that are palindromes. So just a gist for those who don't know, palindrome means if you read from left to right and right to left, it is the same. And subsequence means if you take a string of characters, uh, if you remove certain characters and concatenate them, that is called one of the subsequence. Narak wants to keep it simple, so he's looking for a string such that the amount of palindromic subsequences is minimal. We have to form a string using uh, only vowels such that the number of palindromic subsequences are minimal. We have to find the string, so that's what they told. So if they give you a number, Narek tells a number like three, I have to find a string that is palindromically all subsequences will have the minimum least possible count. So ideally I'll think that if the number of characters are not duplicating, then it's minimal, right? So in this case, I can keep A, E, I. But can I keep A, A, E? That is not possible, right? Here A is single. It is a palindrome. E is single. It's a palindrome. I is also a palindrome. Now, as you see here, they also told that the empty string is also a palindrome. A, A, E. A is a palindrome. A is a palindrome. E is a palindrome. A, A is a palindrome. Right? And uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. An empty string is 5. In this case, it is 4, including the empty string. So, we have to make sure that the number of distinct characters are maximized. But we have only 5 characters. So, what will we do in this case? So, let's take a bit more complicated example so that it will be easier for us to understand. So what did they do here? Let's see the another example like 6. If it is 6, I'll say that okay, I can keep A, E, I, O, U. And I'll say that okay, I have exhausted all the characters of the vowel. Then I'll use one more character. It should be A, E, I, or U, anything. That's all. But uh, the problem here is if you observe properly, A, E, A forms a palindrome. A, I, A forms a palindrome. A, O, A forms a palindrome. And A, U, A also forms a palindrome. Can we decrease this? Yes, it is possible. You can just group AA together. You can just group AA, E, I, O, U. Now, the number of palindrome between AA is reduced. So only this AA will form a palindrome. Rest all will remain the same. The minimum possible palindrome will be there. Plus, we have to reduce it. Suppose this is 7. What will I do? Can I keep E here? That is not possible, right? E, E will come. Uh, e, I, E will come, E, O, E will come, many things will come. So the best possible way is group all these things together. That's it. So now, how to think about the logic? If I know that uh, the number of characters that Narek gives me is in multiples of 5, I can simply keep A, E, I, O, U, A, I, O, U, right? And then uh, group them together. But it can be an odd number, like it can be any number other than 5. If it is 6, what should I do? What are the extra characters we need to see? So for that, we use the reminder function. So if you use a 6 mod 5, there will be one character that comes extra. So you can take A. If it is 7 mod 5, there will be two characters that comes extra. So you keep A and E. Now, the next challenge is, okay, I group those sequences. Suppose if it is 11, A, E, I, O, U, 5, A, E, I, O, U. That is, if it is 11 means I do 11 by 5, which gives two complete set of A, E, I, O, U and 11 mod 5 is 1 A or E or I, O, U, one single character and two complete set of vowels. In this case, I'll say that if I take this A, it will be A, 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 E, E, I, I, O, O, U, U. How to form this character? It is very simple. We have N by 5, right? In this N by 5, you simply assign like A, E, I, O, U and A, E, I, O, U and whatever be the remaining characters, you just arrange them in a sequence A. Once you have created this sequence and we have proved that this is not optimal way but these are the minimum number of distinct characters, we just need to sort it. If we sort it, it comes in this way. So the number of characters are minimalized. 
now let us try to understand the solution of course there are a lot different many and solutions also so since the constraints are very minimal we can just do this approach as well so if they give you a number like 13 what is 13 by 5 13 by 5 is 2 13 mod 5 remainder is what remainder is uh, 3 now result plus equal to bubbles bubbles uh, i have assigned it in the top as you see in the solution here bubbles is a e i o u so what i'll do is a e i o u until bubble sequence minus minus so bubble sequence is nothing n by 5 a i o u a e i o u and till the remainder i go for the bubbles as you know bubbles is a e i o u i go for a e and i three bubbles now i concatenate both of them and i sort it to reduce the number of uh, palindromic subsequences so if all the things are grouped we can say that okay uh, as per the question it is minimal so this is the submission and let me know what is your approach to solve so if you like more videos please share your comments that is very important for me so thank you guys see you in the next video bye